Hi guys, Arindam here and in this video I will show you how to defeat the Megapithecus Gorilla or King Kong on beta or medium difficulty. Now I will be using as minimal setup as possible so I will be going with 10 Therizinosauruses and all of them will have primitive saddles. They are obviously imprinted 100%. All of them are 100% imprinting and this strategy is for solo only so instead of searching for very high quality saddles that might take you to farming the swamp cave and the underwater caves what I did was I have just taken each of them separately on a hunting spree in which I have killed many alpha predators and I have farmed the snow cave for XP all of this I have done Keeping in mind the 4x boost that you get from dossiers along with Broth of Enlightenment. Now all of them have pretty much the same stats. They are all max leveled. So they are around 22,000 health and around 938% melee. They were all have minimal mutations like this has 0. Some of them like this green one will have between 1 and 2. And these mutations are all on health. Now all of these Therizinors were tamed or all these Therizinors were uh, bred from two wild 150 mothers sorry the base the base mother and father were both 150 perfectly kibel to 24 and with succeeding breeding and imprinting I have finally gotten this now my Uteranus is also a 100% imprint one with maximum level again the snow cave was used for farming but we don't require a max uteranus for this only thing we require is sufficient stamina and a bit of health now let's get over the gear so the arena for the megapithecus is pretty cold so i have taken some amount of protection mostly in these things and my hypothermal protection is around 542 now for the for actually spawning the boss you need the artifact of the brute devourer and the pack the pack will be from the upper south cave, the devourer will be from the Karno island or uh, dead island cave and the brute is from the west uh, water cave and you need 5 amounts of megalania toxin, thylacolio hook claw, therizino claws, spinosaur sail and the megalodon's tooth. So without further ado, let's start the fight. Now. Let me make this clear, this fight is going to be on official difficulty settings. Single player settings have been turned off, so this will mimic official settings as much as possible. I have made sure the settings in the config file match exactly with official. So what you see here is effectively an official difficulty boss battle with only 10 Therizinosauruses and primitive saddles. So yeah, good luck to me. the arena is pretty laggy it's cutting a bit I'm guessing it is loading the textures anyway we will first set them to passive we do not want them crossing this bridge because it might happen that when the fight actually starts some of them might fall into this area which is an insta kill okay now the lag has stopped so we can begin and there's our query. So we are going to just lure him past the bridge into our kill zone. And then, well, then we'll see what happens. Wait for it. Wait for it. And attack. Yes, yes. Concentrate on me, that will be good. As you can see, 
with a primitive saddle, my Theresinos are taking a lot of damage. And because I have single player settings disabled, they are actually take, taking much more damage. So with single player settings, they would take, I don't know, maybe around half of this. Yes, yes, yes. Come to me. The Megapithecus is actually the easiest of the three bosses and this is because it has the least amount of health, even an alpha. So if you were to farm for XP on the island map then this is the best way to do it. Sorry, I didn't mention XP, I wanted to mention element. So this is the best way to get element from the island map. Farm either the beta or the alpha Megapithecus and you will get a lot of element. As you can see it is nearly going to die and uh, even with primitive saddles our Xenos are in perfect condition. Ah, and that's it, done. Let's just check out the health. So they have lost a bit over 50% health. Same here, so it's like uh, 50 to 55% health was lost. You can also see that this 20 to 22,000 health is actually a very safe amount if you don't have a very high saddles. Generally, if you have a very good saddle, maybe a journeyman, master crafter, and ascendant saddle, you can go with around 17,000 health and you can pump the rest into melee. You can get around 1000% uh, melee from there. Okay. So yeah, that's about it. I mean it's done. Now I'll just heal my dinos up with the day add-on. And well, I'm just going to go back home and do something about the alpha. Well. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I certainly did and uh, see you next time and uh, thank you for watching.